Crawford. Both armies know a thing or two about bull, but not this kind. Near an advanced Allied base, the Rodeo has been staged for American and Australian troops. They found the answer to Sunday entertainment in a joust for the bucking bovines. Of course, the bulls are winning the war, tails up and horns down. But do you think the army cares? A belly laugh for the boys, but not for the rider. The bulls are bringing up their heavy artillery. You can't keep a wish boy out of a Rodeo, no sir. Not unless you throw him out. Boy, wasn't that something? Now then, Ollie, stick there and show Uncle Sam how it uh, isn't done. Trying to get into his dugout. Hold on, Digger. He did. The Air Force had better learn to fly. Hasn't got his wings. Look out there. The enemy's attacking and two armies are in retreat. The bulls infiltrating round the flanks and the troops are retiring to prepared positions, if they can make it. Young Australia's in trouble this time. Sound the retreat, Bugler. Call out the reserves, call out the police, call out everybody. Better still, call off the bull. So the Yanks and the Aussies are tough, eh? Let me at them. I'll chase that beggar around that tree. I'll have his blood. He knows I will. Down south in the famous Snowy River country, tough stockmen stage a slap-up buck jump for war funds. No troops want to ride these wild mustangs. Maybe it's just as well. There's a nice pony for the kiddies to ride, if you're not fond of kids. Discretion is often the better part of valor. This is the one the man from Snowy River tried to ride, but didn't. His bastard caught up with him. Just a rocking horse, but not quite as restful. They christened him Vichy. He's a twister. Getting something off his mind, too. Uh, three. Now what's the odds? Make it four. This one's called the Artistic Upsetter. Do it again, son. Big one, neat but not gaudy. Big two, graceful but undignified. Three, where the taxpayer is. On his axis. 